On the laundry list of faults belonging to the far left, identity politics might be chief among them. That's saying quite a bit. There are very few things, if any, that are less American than identity politics. Regardless of one's lot in life, pulling yourself up by your own merits has been one of the fundamental ideals America was built on. Identity politics are the exact antithesis of that American ideal. The idea that anyone deserves special treatment solely based on the color of their skin, their ethnicity or sexual orientation is laughable. Everybody wins when it's a meritocracy. Everybody loses in identity politics. The deranged proliferation of identity politics found itself in the media again last week during an absolutely unhinged segment of the syndicated TV show, Daily Blast Live. The September 12th edition of Daily Blast Live focused a part of its show on the controversy surrounding tennis star Serena Williams and her U.S. Open snafu with an umpire. The segment on the show, dubbed Are We Living in a New PC? World, quickly took a bizarre turn when one of the hosts berated another for not having enough melanin. Co-host Al Jackson, who is black, began discussing the cartoon shortly before letting loose on co-host Bo Davidson, who is white. Racism is depending on who's privileged and who isn't. Jackson said. The person that wrote the headline calling the world politically correct I'm assuming as a white male, well, we all know what they say about people who assume, but Jackson goes further into his identity politics. A white male can never understand what marginalized people feel and think, and absolutely cannot tell them what to think and feel, he said. Last I checked, anyone can be marginalized, regardless of skin tone. But Jackson's lunacy quickly took a turn for the worst as he began to directly address Davidson. Strangely enough, Jackson began to call Davidson unqualified for his position as co-host because he only has 1,000 Instagram followers. You have 1,000 Instagram followers. I have 30,000. I have a master's in biomedical sciences. I have over 200 TV appearances. Jackson said. Self-aggrandizing aside, Jackson got to the crux of his identity politics in a rather blatant manner. You are the living embodiment of white privilege. Jackson said. You have no business on this panel with us. But you're here because of your privilege. I have hundreds of black people, brown people, in my phone that are more qualified, have done more in their career to deserve to be in that seat. But you sit there. Because of your white privilege, um, what? That is literally insane. Someone is the embodiment of white privilege because he has fewer Instagram followers than you. That makes no sense and is even more reductive than identity politics already are. To Davidson's credit, he calmly refuted many of Jackson's claims, citing the hard work he had to put in to be hired to co-host the show. Jackson responded with more identity politics. So take what you just said about your hardships and imagine if you were a black woman. Jackson said, oh, boy. This is yet more proof that identity politics are a waste of everyone's time and an insult to everyone's intelligence. 